Zelensky. We have information that Russia plans protracted drone campaign to exhaust Ukraine. This post received a score of 16,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Can the drones be targeted while in transit? Is that too logistically complicated to pull off at the moment? Would the result of that draw another country into the war? Greater than can the drones be targeted while in transit? Not sure what route they take during shipping, but Iran and Russia share a maritime border via the Caspian Sea. I'm assuming Russia has pretty decent security in that area, and somewhat good relations with the other nations bordering the Caspian. Russia makes the bet that Iran can produce drones faster than NATO can produce anti-air missiles. Honestly I think they'll be able to do it cheaper with high-volume computer-assisted machine gun fire or computer-guided anti-drone electronic warfare weapons. Missiles are expensive but a tracked weapon that either doesn't need reloading or costs a fraction of a missile is coming. Cheapest is to kill the source. Just need some long-range, accurate missiles. And most effective, I'd go for this option. Just here to casually remind people that this naval anti-missile system called Goalkeeper exists. And while it'd be very expensive to buy even just a few to use in major population centers, Ukraine effectively has a blank check from the entire planet to make sure that Russia stays behind its borders. But rockets are probably a better option in general. It means militaries who support Ukraine can use this opportunity to donate their aging stock and replenish with brand new munitions. Yeah, Ukraine is basically becoming NATO's dumping ground for their outdated equipment so they can get new state-of-the-art tech themselves. It's convenient that NATO's outdated equipment is still better than Russia's current equipment though. It was constantly modernized in regard of electronics but got pretty much phased out because NATO AA doctrine switched to missile systems against high-value threats like modern-era helicopters or jets with some autocannon functionality on IFVS against Hellas. Turns out, dedicated radar AA vehicles with autocannons that have airburst capability are the perfect answer to drones. First they are relatively cheap and stupid. Second their price would allow them to overwhelm most missile systems that are more designed to deal with individual high-threat weapon carriers or high-yield missiles rather than a swarm of low-yield targets. These autocannon as systems are turning the cost efficiency back in favor of the defender. They're easy to counter if you have the systems in place to counter them. But they're so plentiful and cheap to produce that you're going to find a lot of places where they can still be used effectively. I'm also really interested to see about naval drones. Ukraine developed naval drones by rigging civilian jet skis with explosives and a piloting system but it was only like 10 boats or something. A proper naval drone swarm similar with higher yield explosives and hundreds of boats could be a serious threat to larger battleships. Imagine that in combination with a proper airstrike. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.